Question number 10, Kevin Haig. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health and asks, is he satisfied that there is no conflict of interest in the head of the Food and Grocery Council, Catherine Rich, being a board member of the Health Promotion Agency, and if so, why? Honourable Dr Jonathan Coleman. Mr Speaker, I am satisfied that there are procedures in place to manage any situations where a conflict of interest may arise. All board members of Crown Agents are required to declare and manage conflicts of interest in accordance with the provisions of the Crown Entities Act 2004. <laughs> Supplementary question, Kevin Haig. Is he concerned about allegations that Catherine Rich hired PR man Carrick Graham to write attacks on health researchers that were later published word for word on the whale oil website? Honourable uh, Dr Jonathan Coleman. Mr Speaker, I've seen no credible uh, evidence to back up those allegations, but what I do know is that Catherine Rich is a person of the various, a very highest integrity and that her conduct as a member of the HPA has been excellent. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Kevin Haig. What specific actions has he or his predecessor taken to ensure that Catherine Rich is not compromising the goals of the Health Promotion Agency by paying for attacks on researchers and others who highlight the damaging effects of the products produ promoted and produced by some of her Food and Grocery Council members? Mr. Honourable Speaker, Dr Jonathan Coleman. Mr Speaker, I've had direct uh, communication from the chair of the HPA, which states, in quotes, she has always been an ethical member of the board. As chair, I have always had confidence in her contribution. And Mr Speaker, that satisfies me. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Kevin Haig. Mr Speaker, um, so, sorry, to, to the minister. As, as the incoming minister, Will he take that further and, in fact, initiate an investigation into whether Mrs Rich's conflict as both a member of the Health Promotion Agency and a lobbyist for alcohol, tobacco and the junk food industry was appropriately managed? And will he hold an inquiry into the allegations that Mrs Rich hired a PR man to attack health researchers while being a member of the Health Promotion Agency board? Honourable Dr Johnson. Mr Speaker, comment. I see no reason to take any further action and I'm going to spend my efforts on improving access to quality health uh, care for all New Zealanders and that's what I think should be the focus of the portfolio. Yeah. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Kevin Haig. How can Catherine Rich possibly fulfil the goals of the Health Promotion Agency when, with her other hat on, uh, she is promoting unhealthy food tobacco and alcohol, and paying for public attacks on health promotion researchers. Honourable Dr Jonathan Mr. Coleman. Mr Speaker, dealing with public health issues, including obesity, involves a range of responses, uh, including good diet, nutrition and physical activity. And I believe the food industry actually has a very important contribution to make, and it's helpful to have them represented around that table. That's right. Question number 11, David Bennett. Mr Speaker, my question